This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. And a pleasant good morning to you. It is Tuesday, August 15th. I'm Ray Collins. Jacqueline is off today. We'll share some back to school photos later this half hour and also tell you how you can send your kids pictures in here as well. But first, let's get that first alert forecast now from John Skulls. He's got details of another hot one on the Sun Coast, John. Yeah, that's absolutely true, Ray. It's going to be warm this afternoon and with a prolonged period of temperatures close to 90, as we're not going to get too many showers to break the heat again today. We're looking at uh, only an isolated shower near the coast. During drive time this morning, I doubt we see much at all. But as I mentioned, maybe an isolated shower, that chance till probably around lunchtime. Then everything moves inland, dry on your way back from work later today. We're looking at some uh, pretty clear skies across the region currently. And as I mentioned, not much in the way of any kind of rainfall currently. Just an isolated shower in the process of dissipation down around Inglewood. Uh, otherwise, daytime highs top out warm near 90 or a little bit warmer. And we'll have only about a 30% chance of showers today. Not much for this time of year, right? No, not really. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic right now. I see some buildup on State Road 70, westbound heading toward 301. Otherwise, all clear in Manatee County. Farther south down to Sarasota County. And hey, buildup continues on the uh, Siesta Key North Bridge as you head from Heigel back toward the mainland across that uh, lift bridge. Not sure why there's a slowdown there. Farther south, all clear at 602 on your Tuesday morning. Our top story this morning, an effort to help Florida's convicted felons regain their right to vote. The American Civil Liberties Union is investing millions of dollars into a campaign hoping to end so-called the felon disenfranchisement law. Let's go live now to downtown Sarasota and our Jess Dowdrick outside the courthouse. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, Ray. ACLU is investing $5 million and a substantial amount of activist resources to the cause. The goal is to get 1 million signatures on a petition. And if they do, it'll be up to Florida voters to decide whether or not convicted felons couldn't get his or her right to vote back after serving their sentence. Right now in the state of Florida, any convicted felon is permanently stripped of his or her voting rights. Florida is one of only three states to do this. It's estimated that more than 1.6 million Florida residents have lost their right to vote. The American Civil Liberties Union, or ACLU, is hoping to put an end to it. If ACLU gets 1 million signatures on their petition, a voter restoration amendment will be added to the November 2018 ballot. If passed by Florida voters, it would mean convicted felons would get their right to vote back after serving their time. That includes parole or probation. Now, for those convicted of murder or any felony sexual offense, the clemency process would be much stricter. We've been talking about it for a very long time, and this is not the first time we've actually been involved in this effort. Um, it's just the first time that we've been able to pour so much money into this campaign, and we think that the time is right. We think that the majority of Floridians agree with us. It's the time to give somebody a second chance and say, yes, you've served your time. You can now participate and, and reacclimate yourself into society. If this amendment makes the ballot, it would need support from 60% of Florida voters. If it is passed, then it will go into effect before the next presidential election. Reporting live in Sarasota, Jess Dowdrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Jess. For the first time since taking office, President Trump will start his day in his Manhattan penthouse. He still faces backlash in the wake of the deadly chaos, chaos rather sparked by a white nationalist rally and then counter protests in Virginia over the weekend. ABC's Emily Raw has the latest. More than a thousand demonstrators lined the sidewalks around Trump Tower Monday, hours before President Trump's expected arrival. No KKK, no fascist USA. Scores of police worked to keep the Manhattan streets clear, and as night fell, the protesters remained marching and chanting with a message for the president. Nearly 48 hours after that car plowed into a group of people in Charlottesville, President Trump finally condemning white supremacy groups by name. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything 
we hold dear as Americans. But it took two days of intense pressure after his first statement seemed to spread the blame. And violence on many sides. On many sides. Even the president's Republican allies calling him out. Call this white supremacism, this white nationalism evil, and let the country hear it, let the world hear it. It's something that needs to come from the Oval Office, and this White House needs to do it today. The He's criticism building as tension life. simmers in Charlottesville. Nazis go! Get the hell out of here! White nationalists again gathering, and counter protesters making their voices heard from the scene of the crime in Charlottesville to right outside the president's own door. That this is what America looks like! President Trump has tweeted that it's good to be home. He also retweeted a prominent conspiracy theorist overnight, commenting on the lack of media outrage over gun violence in Chicago. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington. In response to the violence in Charlottesville, three CEOs are stepping down from President Trump's manufacturing council. The head of pharma giant Merck, Ken Frazier, was the first to quit after criticizing Trump's initial failure to condemn, condemn hate groups. After that, Under Armour founder and CEO Kevin Plank said in a tweet, there is no place for racism or discrimination in the world. He then stepped down from the council as well. And then later, Intel CEO Brian uh, Skranich released a statement saying he wished to call attention to the serious harm our divided political climate is causing to critical issues. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is now toning down his rhetoric regarding any attack on Guam. North Korean media reported that their, state, their leader made his decision not to fire on Guam after a session with his top military advisors. The report also said that he would continue to watch the U.S. before making any decision, indicating the North Korean leader could still change his mind. This apparent pause comes after North Korea threatened the island last week in response to U.N.-imposed sanctions on the nation. President Trump spoke with the Japanese Prime Minister by phone about North Korea's threats. The White House says that Trump reaffirmed that the U.S. stands ready to defend and respond to any threat or actions taken by North Korea. Japan's prime minister said his top priority is stopping North Korea from launching missiles at Guam. He said preventing the strike will only be possible, though, with cooperation from the rest of the world, including, he mentioned, South Korea, China, and Russia. Developing overnight, two U.S. service members were killed in Iraq during counterterrorism operations on Sunday. Five others suffered non-life-threatening injuries. The troops were part of an international coalition fighting ISIS in Iraq since 2014. The military said the incident is under investigation, and there's no indication that ISIS was responsible. Back in this country, a fatal shooting left three dead at a drag racing event in Wisconsin. Police believe it was gang-related. They said the killer likely targeted the three men, and this was not a random act of violence. The victims are believed to be gang members, and a high-ranking gang member is believed to be the father of one of the victims. No other injuries reported, and the search continues for the killer. A follow-up now on a controversial, controversial issue back in Florida. The state Supreme Court has agreed to the first execution in over a year here. The court ruled 6-1 to one that the state can go ahead with the execution of Mark Assay of Jacksonville next week. He is convicted of killing two people back in 1987. This would be the state's first execution in 18 months. His original date was put on hold last year after the U.S. Supreme Court found the state's death penalty sentencing law was unconstitutional. The execution is set for a week from Thursday. A Confederate statue in Gainesville has been taken off county administration property. The statue was there for more than 100 years. In fact, it was put up by the Daughters of the Confederacy back in 1904. Now that same group is paying to take it down. One Gainesville commissioner said he's glad to see the city is turning the page on this chapter of history. But others say it's not offensive and it honors the dead. They represent the war and it shouldn't have to bother anybody personally. As a citizen of, of the community, I'm glad that, that we've uh, thought better of something we probably should have dealt with many decades ago. Gainesville police commended the community for keeping the peace and not letting the removal become a riot. Look at this. A couple's car exploded in a bizarre chain of events in Orlando. Police say the man and woman had just left a barbecue at the fairgrounds on Sunday. They packed up the gas grill, but they forgot to close the propane valve that was still connected when she, wait for it, 
lit a cigarette you know the tank exploded it shattered the vehicle's windows and forced the driver from the car and from the road crashed into a pole medics took the couple to orlando's medical center with burns but they are expected to be okay wow well, rip currents became a hazard for swimmers in North Florida over the weekend. Ocean conditions were rough, but all over the uh, weekend, the Bay County Sheriff's responded to 22 calls of swimmers in distress, and the Panama City Police answered 23 calls. Now, if you find yourself in a rip current by chance here on the Sun Coast, here's the best advice. Swim parallel to the shore and try not to swim against it. Good advice. SpaceX doing now more research. An unmanned Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center. And most of the 6,400 pounds of cargo is experiments, including 20 mice. It's also doubling as an ice cream truck of sorts. There was an extra freezer space. So NASA packed some ice cream for the crew of six. SpaceX later successfully landed the booster back at the Cape for the 14th time private sector initiative at the Cape with that private company. Yeah, apparently uh, SpaceX, Elon Musk's, Musk's uh, SpaceX is uh, now the most valuable company in the world. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. Elon Musk yeah. has been called the, the Thomas Edison of our time. Oh, he's the one out there. He's doing it. He's, he's yeah. like the only one. Tesla as well, like. electric, electric cars. Oh, yeah, the power packs. I mean, his, his main thing is building batteries, you know, yeah. and, and, getting, and getting people into renewable alternative energies. He's a young guy, too. Which is brilliant. Yeah, he's young. Mm -hmm. He is. He is. <laughs> it's great. The way of the future. Yeah. We're looking at uh, some pretty pleasant uh, temperatures across the region this morning, I guess, if you like warm temperatures. Uh, as we head into the afternoon, though, kind of steamy. We'll talk about that in a second. Also still have the latest in Suncoast First Alert traffic, and students and parents across the Suncoast are heading back to school. A closer look at why the transition from summer to school doesn't always come easy after this. There was this big bruise on my friend's face. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to think her own nephew could have hit her. I didn't want to see it. My mother's bank account was emptied, and her caregiver had taken control of it. I didn't want to see it. My father's refrigerator, there was hardly anything in it. That's unusual for him. It's tough to see that a senior citizen is being abused, physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially. Elder abuse is a crime. So see the signs. Stop the crimes. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School, serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. No theater lover's bucket list is complete without the classic black comedy, Arsenic and Old Lace. Two adorable old ladies who just happen to poison their tenants and bury them in their basement. Fun and farcical, this hilarious play is heating up the summer at the Player Center from August 9th through the 20th. Call 365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. You'll die laughing when you see arsenic and old lace. Are you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Our accredited staff will handle all of the Medicare paperwork for free. And best of all, your brace is shipped directly to your home for free. Don't let chronic lower back pain slow you down. Get moving and stay active with a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost. We also accept Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Aetna, Humana, and other insurance. Will you qualify for a medical grade back brace covered by Medicare? Find out for free. Call Back Brace America at 1 800 715 0835. That's 1 800 715 0835. 1 800 715 0835. 
Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Well, very warm out there right now. 84 degrees already. The air temperature at the airport. Can you imagine this time of morning? 84 degrees. Just a signal of where we're headed this afternoon. It will certainly get a degree or two cooler, but that's it. We'll be above 80 all morning long. A uh, 74 degree dew point kind of warm and there are a few fair weather clouds out there right now. A little westerly component to the wind has already started coming in at about five miles per hour. That west wind is going to be with us throughout the day today. Southwest, west. It will be kind of a, a flow pattern that's established itself and will be with us for probably three or four days. We have 77 degrees in Wachula, Arcadia at 78, so is Mayaka, 79 in Parrish, Bradenton at 79, Lakewood Ranch at 80. 85 Longboat Key, 82 in Venice, 82 in Inglewood, 89 in Northport, and Punta Gorda comes in at 78. So across the region, we don't have a whole lot of activity ongoing, but down around Lee County, there have been a few showers, even a thunderstorm out in Gulf waters. Those are gradually drifting to the coastline, of course, riding on that westerly flow. We have a chance of seeing a shower or two around this morning, but not a big chance. I think bus stops should be fairly quiet this morning. Um, don't see much of a chance of any kind of widespread shower outbreaks. Now around the noontime hour, some of the recesses I think might be affected by a thunderstorm or two that develop a little later on this morning. Those showers like yesterday kind of built around the noontime hour and then rapidly drifted into inland areas, leaving the coastline pretty quiet during the later afternoon and into the evening hours. High pressure, again, the dominant weather feature for us. A frontal boundary stalled out to the north with little areas of low pressure rippling on it. And of course, Gert, now a hurricane. The second hurricane of the season. The good news is really all this is going to do will be to sling a little extra water along the coastline from about the North Carolina coastline on up through the mid-Atlantic and into the northeast areas. That could create some rip current problems or some heavy surf action along the coastlines. Don't expect a big erosion problem with this system. It's going to rapidly move out into the Atlantic, so it's not going to linger. High pressure sinks south, a general westerly flow develops, and we get those winds that push showers toward the other coast. Mostly dry, with only isolated showers today, lots of sunshine around, and of course we're watching a very active tropics. Showers build along the coast, they move rapidly inland, leaving most of the coast quiet during the morning hours. So in the tropics, of course, we have GERT. We talked about that in the last hour. Now we're watching two other systems, one just coming off the coast of Africa with a 20% chance. But this one bears watching. As we head into the uh, extended range, we'll watch GERT move out into the open waters of the Atlantic without any problems whatsoever for anyone, I don't think. But then as we move into next week, we'll be keeping a very close eye on that tropical wave as it moves probably to the south of Cuba, but it's still too early to tell. Computer models do suggest that it will strengthen, so we'll have to watch it. Better rain chances by the weekend. Ray? All right, John, talk to you again soon. Checking first alert traffic now in Manatee County. Some buildup you'll see on State Road 64, eastbound, heading toward downtown Bradenton. Also farther south, now the only buildup we see is a very curious one on the uh, northern Stickney Point Bridge going from Heigl across to Siesta Drive. Not sure why there's a, a slowdown there, just FYI. And uh, South County all clear at 619. Well, students are all now back in school on the Sun Coast, and parents are trying to get the kids back into a routine. It could be a sharp turn going from summer to school overnight. I talked to some local parents about the challenge. Is it tough to get the kids out of the summer mode and back into the school mode each year? Is it tough for them or for me? <laughs> I think it's tough for everybody. Lauren Haney has a unique perspective. Not only is she a single mom raising a little boy and a little girl, 
She's also a middle school math teacher. So just in case it's not hard enough to get her own kids excited about school, she has to motivate a classroom of pre-teenagers. Well, I work with middle schoolers, so every day is hard to get them ramped up in the morning. Um, but with younger kids, I think most of them are excited to be back. And that includes her own son, who is looking forward to second grade. What's your favorite part about going back to school? I get to learn more. Really? Uh -huh. What's your favorite subject? Science. And as for Lauren's five-year-old daughter, she still has other priorities. I love climbing. Meantime, over by the swing set, Father Matt Merkel has his own routine for keeping kids on schedule. He says it starts with getting himself ready first. Get up early and try to get their lunch packed and get some stuff done before they get out of bed. Because as soon as they get out of bed, they take all your attention. It all makes perfect sense to Lauren. It's just easier said than done as summer and all its habits come to an abrupt stop for now. You know, we've been used to staying up later, going, um, yeah, staying up later, sleeping in a little bit more, having a lounging morning. So, yeah, it's going to be tougher to get back. It's tougher to get back into that routine. And Lauren also has a blog for uh, moms called Sarasota Moms Blog to to commiserate together about the transition back to school. 621 right now, still heading Good Morning Sun Coast. A man is behind bars, accused of plotting to blow up an Oklahoma City bank. We'll tell you why the FBI says the man planned to detonate a van filled with explosives after this. The Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio charmed us all and crippled the competition. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here. At the Wanna Be Inn, on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, Log on to wannabein.com. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was. I can tell you that you will not find a finer, more professional team of clinicians anywhere in the world. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Alfa Romeo got a lot right with the Junior, but the handling alone is sufficient reason to get one. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. All right, two more pictures this hour from local students. This is Spencer Gillum. Thank you for sending that great shot. Has backpack on, ready for school this morning. And also a picture we have of... Ryan Blumthal looks like he's outside 
Riverview High School over there off Proctor Road, great big school, and a nice young man. Thank you both for those pictures. We show about two pictures an hour. If you want to send pictures of your daughter or son, here is our respective addresses. You can send them to me at uh, Facebook. Go to Facebook and then punch up Ray Collins, ABC7. You can also like the page. You'll see lots of pictures behind the scenes of our program. There's also Jacqueline's and John's uh, pages as well. So we'd love to have you be part of the show. Welcome back, 625 right now. A man is under arrest after what he's accused of trying to do outside a bank in Oklahoma City. ABC's Pierre Thomas has details. In this morning's first look, 23-year-old Jerry Varnell is behind bars, accused of plotting to blow up a bank building in downtown Oklahoma City. Varnell assembled the components to make a large vehicle-borne IED and loaded it into a cargo van. The FBI says Varnell attempted to detonate what he thought was a 1,000-pound bomb. A plot similar to Timothy McVeigh's 1995 Oklahoma City bombing, which killed 168 people. But it was all a sting set up by the FBI. According to prosecutors, Varnell drove the van to Bank First downtown, parking it in this alleyway before being arrested. The FBI says over an eight-month investigation, Varnell told one of their informants he admired McVeigh and was aspiring to bomb the Federal Reserve Building in Washington, D.C. And we'll have the latest on the arrest coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington. Depression is a tangle of multiple symptoms. That's why there's Trintelix, a prescription medication for depression. Trintelix may help you take a step forward in improving your depression. Tell your healthcare professional right away if your depression worsens or you have unusual changes in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Do not take with MAOIs. Tell your healthcare professional about your medications, including migraine, psychiatric, and depression medications, to avoid a potentially life threatening condition. Increased risk of bleeding or bruising may occur, especially if taken with NSAID pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners. Manic episodes or vision problems may occur in some people, may cause low sodium levels. The most common side effects were nausea, constipation, and vomiting. Trintelix had no significant impact on weight in clinical trials. Ask your healthcare professional about Trintelix. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Get the hottest deals of the year during the summer clearance event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers or save big on a new sleek and stylish Jeep Cherokee for as little as $18,999. Drive off today for your next great adventure in a brand new Jeep Renegade for as low as $15,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. This is important news for women who were administered chemotherapy intravenously for breast cancer and then suffered permanent hair loss. Some women administered the breast cancer chemotherapy drug Taxotere have suffered from permanent hair loss on scalp, eyebrows, and eyelashes. If you suffered permanent hair loss after chemotherapy for breast cancer, call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now to find out if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call now. Operators are standing by. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, 
and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. When severe weather strikes, trust ABC7 First Alert Weather. We're here for you. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Com. This half hour on Good Morning Suncoast, police looking for the vandals who defaced the pavilion at the Siesta Key Beach. We'll tell you what happened. Plus, the fastest growing airport in the region might be in Punta Gorda. We'll have the latest numbers from Charlotte County. And we'll talk to some local parents and a young student about the abrupt transition from summer back to the classroom. Your Suncoast News starts right now. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. And we begin by saying good morning to Old Main Street. We're all quiet right now in downtown Bradenton, a lovely street, very historic, some great restaurants and shops along that road. And uh, you can enjoy it any time of the day or night, Old Main Street in downtown Bradenton. Welcome back, 631. I'm Ray Collins. Jacqueline Matter is off this morning. John Scalzi is going to join us now from the First Alert Weather Center. And John, someday this week we'll show some back to school pictures of you and Jacqueline of, and me. Well, mine will be scary. I picture you wearing a cowboy hat and a little, little plastic gun as a third grader. Yeah, well, uh, maybe as a third grader. <laughs> I think the picture you have of me is uh, somewhere around sixth grade or so. Can't and it's, pr it's pretty scary. I was pretty dorky when I really? was in sixth grade. Really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> not that I'm not terribly <laughs> dorky now. I mean, I really am. But uh, That's your I, I was very dorky in sixth grade. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, across the region right now, some pretty quiet conditions for kids getting off to the school bus stops. I don't think they're going to have too much of a problem this morning. Maybe after about 9 or 10 o'clock, there might be an isolated shower around. But I think for the course of the next couple of hours, things look pretty quiet. Now, our satellite view does doesn't show much in the way of any kind of cloud cover. And the rain showers are really down to the south around Fort Myers, but they are lifting north, so we'll put in an isolated chance of a shower during the morning hours. But then by afternoon, I think we kind of really dry out as temperatures climb into the low 90s and feels like temperatures up around 100. Complete forecast for you coming up in a few, Ray. All right, thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic now in Manatee County, a build up there on 301 southbound out of downtown Bradenton, otherwise pretty clear there. Farther south, a continued issue there on the, the uh, North Bridge if you, as you come off Siesta Key and head toward the mainland, a little problem there. South County all clear at 633 on your Tuesday morning. Our top story, an effort to help Florida's convicted felons regain their right to vote. The American Civil Liberties Union is investing millions of dollars into a campaign we get details now live from Jess Dodrick outside the Sarasota County Courthouse. Jess, good morning. Good morning, Ray. ACLU is investing $5 million and a lot of activist resources to the cause. The goal is to get a million signatures on a petition. And if they do, it'll be up to voters to decide whether or not convicted felons should get their rights to vote back after they finish their sentencing. Right now in the state of Florida, any convicted felon is permanently stripped of his or her voting rights. Florida is one of only three states to do this. It's estimated that more than 1.6 million Florida residents have lost their right to vote. The American Civil Liberties Union, or ACLU, is hoping to put an end to it. If ACLU gets 1 million signatures on their petition, a voter restoration amendment will be added to the November 2018 ballot. If passed by Florida voters, it would mean convicted felons would get their right to vote back after serving their time, including parole or probation. For those convicted of murder or any felony sexual offense, the clemency process would be much stricter. These are low level crimes. These are not violent crimes. And I think that's important to point out that people who commit violent crimes, this does not impact them. They won't get the right to vote. This is only for people who have committed felonies that you know, it could be as, as you know, bad check writing or, or whatever. It doesn't have to be something that they can't come back from. 
If this amendment does make the 2018 ballot, it will need support from 60% of Florida voters. It would then go into effect before the next presidential election. Reporting live in Sarasota, Jess Daldrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Jess. Other news now. The search is on for the vandals who damaged the Siesta Key Pavilion. Our Rick Adams has details of some serious spray painting. This is what many of the walls look like over the weekend around the restroom area near Siesta Beach's historic pavilion. Vandals spray painted words such as Orlando, hip hop, and O Town Forever, among many other words. Beachgoers we talked with were surprised with this vandalism. It's just unfortunate that you have, you know, situations like that, especially in areas like Florida, where it's very beautiful. It's like paradise out here. And, uh, I mean, you get unfortunate events like that, which kind of makes it look a little worse out here. County officials say the vandalism happened sometime Friday night between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. Crews were able to paint over the graffiti and finish cleanup of the walls by Monday afternoon. It is disappointing, um, and uh, but we do plan for things like this to happen, unfortunately. Many folks are happy the graffiti got cleaned up so quickly. For Giovanni Mavar and his family, they tell us they would never expect to see something like this at Siesta Beach. Usually at like a bad place. There's graffiti usually around a lot of gang inflicted places. Usually places that you don't want to hang out. In addition to this area of Siesta Beach, vandals also spray painted a Frontier Communications substation on Midnight Pass Road. There are no cameras in the area where this happened. So at this point, the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office has not identified any suspects. On Siesta Beach, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. New details on a former Manatee County Sheriff's deputy now facing a battery charge. 39-year-old Stephen Buckle was arrested by Venice Police for an incident last week. 17-year-old girl told officers that Buckle approached her while she was alone on the beach and that he kissed her and grabbed her repeatedly without her consent. The police report says Buckle also sent numerous text messages to the victim. Buckle has since resigned from the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. He had worked there for nearly five years. New developments involving a hit and run that left a man seriously injured last April in downtown Sarasota. Police are now charging Devin Watts of Sarasota with failing to stop at a crash involving serious bodily injury. They say he was involved in an incident on April 11th at the intersection of North Pineapple and First Street. Police say Watts was driving this pickup truck and, his, and hit uh, Orion Weir of Sarasota and then drove off. Now Weir is still recovering. It is day two of school in Sarasota County, and some schools are dealing with more students than they expected. In fact, both Venice Middle and High School have more than 60 extra students than they expected there. The schools are doing all they can to accommodate the surplus. Venice High School freshmen had their orientation yesterday, and the rest of the students will be taking part in back-to-school assemblies later this week. It still sets a tone for the expectations of our school and the culture that we want them to, to exist in. Venice Middle School is still partly under construction, but administrators are making sure it won't interfere with students. Well, good news for the Punta Gorda Airport. Passenger traffic is taking off again. The airport saw more than 116,000 passengers last month alone. That's even a 10% increase from the previous July in 2016. This is the 45th consecutive month the airport has seen an increase in traffic. Part of that is due to the increase of Allegiant Air flight destinations out of that airport. One of Venice's most popular restaurants will be closed for a week. Sharky's on the Pier undergoing some renovations there. It'll be closed till Wednesday, uh, August 23rd. The owners are updating the outdoor restrooms and adding air conditioning to them. The restaurant next door to Sharky's called Finn's will still be open for lunch and dinner during that closure. Happening today, the Manatee and Sarasota State Colleges of Florida are hosting a Welcome Back Bash that's open to the public. The event will feature music, food, campus tours, and giveaways with the chance to win free or discounted book and tuition waivers. Students will also have the chance to buy books and supplies and get their IDs and parking passes as well. The Welcome Back Bash runs from 4 to 6 at both campuses. 6.39 right now, and you say an active uh, time in the tropics right yeah. now as well. Yeah, well, we're heading into the, the peak of hurricanes. Yeah, in, makes you know, sense. September, so things are starting to heat up. We've got actually three areas that we're watching, Jeez. two of which um, we, we should really keep an eye on as we head into the next five days really? just to see where they go. So uh, 
Yeah, exciting time in the weather department right I'm now. Sure it is. We'll talk about the forecast for you in just a minute. Also still have the latest first alert traffic and the Taylor Swift civil trial comes to an end. The verdict that might surprise you when we come back. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12 year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wannabe Inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs, producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Explore amazing merchants on the Sun Coast. Find great prices, products, and services. Go to mysuncoast.com to buy local today. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. All right, a lot to cover in First Alert weather, so let's get to it. 84 degrees, the air temperature already at this hour. Very warm, sticky feel to the air. Thanks to that dew point value at 74. A few fair weather clouds, but the main thing is a southwesterly wind flow that has developed. That's continuing to pump moisture in across the region, particularly near the coast where temperatures are a little bit warmer along the coastline. 82 in Inglewood, 81 in Venice, 85 Longbow Key. Inland, away from that flow of southwest air just a little bit. Temperatures have been allowed to lower just a tad with 77 in Wachula, 78 in Mayaka, 78 in Arcadia. Even Lakewood Ranch coming in a few degrees cooler at 79 degrees. You can see the general flow of air encouraging these showers from the Gulf to move closer to the coastline. And in fact, Lee County has had a few showers around. Now for us locally, haven't seen a lot. One brief one in Inglewood. But over the last 24 hours yesterday around noon, we had a line of showers build and then rapidly move inland, leaving the coast pretty quiet quiet in the afternoon. Same sort of situation again today, I think. High pressure, still the dominant weather feature. Dry air still in place aloft, limiting the number of storms we get. And over the next several days, we'll watch that high sink a little further south, encouraging that formation of westerly wind. That takes the showers that form along the sea breeze front and kind of pushes them a little further inland. And that will be the case probably for the next three or four days till we start to develop a more southeasterly wind, exactly opposite of this wind direction. And that will take some of the showers that develop late in the day inland and push them back toward the coast, a situation that we're familiar with about 80% of the time in Florida summers. Mostly dry today with only isolated showers. 
lots of sunshine. And an active tropics, by the way, as well. Here's the RPM computer model showing those showers near the coast, then moving inland as they dissipate. As far as the tropics go, we watch a couple of areas. One, Girt, of course, that's just off the uh, coastline of the United States. No real problems there. Then two other storm systems, kind of back-to-back -back systems that will exit, that one is exiting off the uh, African coast with about a 20% chance of developing in five days. This one, a better chance, about a 60% chance down the road. Initially, there's some dry air out in front of it, so that might limit development initially, but I think a little bit later on, better chances for development as it gets closer to the Antilles. Gert, now a hurricane, second one of the season, forecast to lift north and then rapidly zoom out into the open waters of the Atlantic. By Thursday, decreasing in intensity, and by Saturday, probably a thing of the past as it enters into the cool waters of the Labrador. This is the system with the 60% chance of development. We'll watch that. The, uh, the, the tracks tend to cluster around a solution that takes it south of Hispaniol, south of Cuba. And generally speaking, these kinds of tracks tend to be more of a threat to Central America and to Mexico than to the state of Florida. But we'll watch it. Some computer models do suggest that it moves a little further to the north. Computer model simulations generally show that if a system moves a little bit north of Hispaniol, it is a greater risk to Florida. So if we can keep this system as low as possible in latitude, that would be nice. But in any event, it is forecast to strengthen in about certainly five days down the road. We don't want to lose track of where it is and what it's doing. West wind coming in at about 5 to 10 this evening at about 5. So smooth conditions on Van Inland waters. A beautiful day for boating. I think it'll be really nice out there. A couple of tides, a 246 low tide, a high tide at 853. We're at a high tide now coming up. Uh, at 6 o'clock was our high tide. We'll look for a daytime high today that uh, takes us to about 91 with a 20 to 30 percent chance of showers. That's it for the next several days. Increasing rain chances as we head into the weekend, right? Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic now. First off in Manatee County, a little build up there on 301 southbound heading towards State Road 70. Otherwise, pretty clear right now. Also checking farther south now into Sarasota County. We'll see some problems there. 41 southbound after the uh, 3 on 1 split heading toward Bay of Vista. And the final map will show us uh, some problems in either direction. Nothing major on 41 around uh, Venice. In this hour's Health Smart, Mexican officials have seized 10,000 gallons of alcohol from a company making and supplying booze to tourist resorts. Police cited bad production practices. Health inspectors also suspended two businesses for, quote, inadequate sanitary conditions. One of those places was the lobby at a resort in a complex where a 20-year-old Wisconsin woman recently died. After her death, the State Department back in Washington updated Mexico's safety and security guidance, urging vacationers to avoid excessive alcohol consumption. Probably good advice anytime. Entertainment news now. Verdicts were announced in the Taylor Swift civil trial. The jury ruled that, the Taylor, Swift, that uh, Taylor Swift's mother did not cause a former DJ to get fired from his job. That jury then also ruled that that DJ, David Mueller, did grope the pop star. This comes after claims that Swift uh, said that Mueller put his hand up her skirt at an event during a picture, and there were pictures to prove it in court. The court awarded Swift with the amount she requested, a total of $1. Swift said after the verdict that she'll make donations now to organizations that help sexual assault victims defend themselves. Bruno Mars giving a million dollars to help the victims of the Flint water crisis. The city is still dealing with tainted drinking water that has contained lead and other dangerous toxins. Other entertainers who have raised money for the Flint water crisis include Pearl Jam, Cher, and Big Sean. The Eagles heading out on tour with a son of founding member Glenn Fry stepping up for his late father. The Eagles played concerts in Los Angeles and New York last month for the first shows since Fry passed away at the age of 67 last year. His son Deacon filled in on guitar and vocals at those concerts, and he'll now join the band on tour this fall. 
6.49 right now. Still ahead, we'll update the day's top local news headlines. And a baby rhino finally making its public zoo debut. We'll tell you why this little guy is such a big deal. Stay with us. Discover all the reasons the experts love Subaru during the Subaru A Lot to Love event at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is the best overall brand for two years running and the most trusted brand for three years running, according to Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com. Right now, you can lease one of Subaru's most versatile vehicles, the Subaru Crosstrek, for as little as $189 a month or get 0% financing. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. Join the fun at the Weddings of Sarasota 17th Annual Wedding Show at the iconic Sarasota Municipal Auditorium on US 41. Sunday, August 27th from noon to 4. Enjoy food, fun, and entertainment with a runway show on stage at 3 p.m. $2,000 in Weddings of Sarasota dollars given out after the runway show. You must be present to win. Pre-register at WeddingsofSarasota.com. Brides and grooms are free if registered by midnight on August 25th. Weddings of Sarasota. Register today. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. ABC7, your official Florida lottery station for the Suncoast. Lovely part of the Sun Coast, Old Main Street in downtown Bradenton. Our live camera panning there to show you the stretch. Right alongside there is the Manatee County Administration Building. Great street full of restaurants and good shops to support local merchants on Old Main Street in downtown Bradenton. Welcome back, 653. Let's check the top headlines of the day. First off, Sarasota County looking for the vandals who defaced the Siesta Key Pavilion over the weekend. Some of the words made reference to hip hop and Orlando. The state Supreme Court has cleared the way for the first execution in Florida in 18 months. A Jacksonville man who killed two people will be put to death next week. And passenger traffic at the airport in Punta Gorda has gone up for 45 consecutive months now. Last month alone, they drew, get this, 116,000 passengers used that airport in Charlotte County. Talking ground traffic now in our first alert traffic. We'll see some issues on 301 southbound heading towards State Road 70. Otherwise pretty good right now in Manatee County. 
farther south now into Sarasota County. The only buildup we see is on Clark Road westbound as you get past Beneva. And farther south in our final map, we'll see some buildups in either direction on 41 around Venice. John? So expect a west wind again today. That's key to our first alert weather forecast for you. That west wind brings us about a 10% chance of a morning drive time shower close to the coast. Goes up to about 20 or 30% chance by noontime. And then it's 30% chance inland all the way after that. All inland showers during the afternoon and evening. Then as we head into the next couple of days, that pattern sticks with us. But by the weekend, we'll kind of up that rain chance to 50%. Uh, right on cue. Yep. Oh, well. <laughs> Finally now, a baby rhino born at the Cincinnati Zoo made its public debut nearly one month after being born. Kendi was born July 17th, but zoo officials say... His mother has been very protective. They've been nursing and bonding exclusively inside the habitat. Kendi is only the fifth eastern black rhino born in North America in the last two years. Look at those ears, John. Very cute. There are fewer than 5,000 black rhinos left in the world. Cute little thing, isn't it? Oh, very cute. <laughs> Without the horn. Once it gets that horn, that little tusk in the front, it looks a little ominous. <laughs> a little more menacing. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Off in the case. All right, thanks for watching. Good morning, Suncoast. Make sure you enjoy your Tuesday. Stay cool. John says up to 90 again today. Mm. We'll have updates at 725, and then see you again tomorrow. Nice. nice. Look at that sunrise. It's pretty, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Good morning, Suncoast.